Okay, guess what? I actually did open it up and look, look for it before I started today. <clears throat> okay, March 22nd. 1508, Americos Fritz Fusi becomes chief navigator for the Spanish Empire. The guy who, well, name both North and South America because it is two continents in English. It's always been this way in English. It's not some vast American conspiracy, which makes no sense of, let me think about it. Just, just, this is that way. Can we just get, just drop this whole stupid, what we call these two continents or continents and move on with our lives? <sighs> anyway, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's some, I'm not so Brazilian. Crazy ones who are just just can't seem to grasp the idea that some people think there's two continents. Imagine if someone went around the internet calling everyone an idiot who saw Europe and Asia were two different continents, and was like really firm on it, calling it like some European conspiracy or some racist. Yeah, it, it's essentially that. Anyway. 1765, Parliament passes the Stamp Act. And what I found out watching, I think it was a Tom Scott video, there was a place in Britain that had representation in Parliament, literally, and not just like, uh -huh, well, I mean, no one lives there. No, literally, no one lived there. They got represented in Parliament, but the United States, the 13 colonies didn't, so... Yeah, uh, but that's over 100 water under the bridge right now. Okay, Britain, anyway. The Stamp Act. <laughs> yeah, that that was successful. 1960, the first rugby match between English and England and France is held. England wins, 35 to 8. Nineteen thirty-three, low alcohol hall beers made legal during prohibition. Less than four percent alcohol by volume. Huh. The eighteenth amendment will be banned repealed later that year. With South Carolina voting for the amendment, the 18th Amendment, voting against the amendment that repealed it, and then having, if you look at it now, has zero dry counties. <sighs> anyway, the laser is first patented. Patented. The laser. You know what? What does laser stand for? You know what it stands for? Light amplified by stimulated emission of radiation. Yeah, laser's an acronym. L A S E R. Uh, light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Anyway. 1972, Equal White Amendment is sent to Senate for ratification um, by only 36 of the 38 states will ratify it. Well, eh. I think there's other members that get passed. 19... 19... 1993, the first petroleum pentium chipped are introduced and that's it that is that is all we got the naming of America the Parliament stamp acts rugby low alcoholic beer lasers equal rights and Chips.
Not the chocolate kind, unfortunately. Computer chip.